Hello and welcome to the TomCast. I'm Tom, President and Dictator for Life of 515comics.com. Starting out with a quick update from last week's show. My arm is mostly healed up. It's itching a whole bunch because now it's scabbed over and healing and that's that's what happens is it gets really itchy. It's feeling fine and it's not like aching or feeling sore anymore, so that's really great. I haven't actually been out on the trike since I flipped it over, which if you didn't know I flipped over my trike, I did a whole episode about it last week, so you should check that out. But like I say, I haven't ridden it to work yet, so I haven't knocked any more days off my, uh, my T5 project. But I uh, plan to get the mirror replaced this weekend or early next week. And hopefully next week I can uh, I can try to work a couple times and uh, make up for the lost week here. I'm a little bummed because I just realized that I kind of double booked myself for something next week and I'm kind of sad because I had to reschedule it. Basically, a friend of Professor Trey approached him and asked about speaking to a group of Girl Scouts about making comics. And he sent this friend to me to ask me about talking to a bunch of Girl Scouts about making comics. Apparently, there is a badge for comic making in the Girl Scouts. Which is pretty badass. I mean, come on. That rules. Like, I never got a comic making badge in Boy Scouts, in Cub Scouts. Uh, maybe there is one. I don't know. I was in Cub Scouts for like a year and a half, so may maybe I just never got to like any of the cool badges. They wanted to have someone who makes comics come and talk to the group about how to make comics and basically, you know, I love that kind of stuff. I love talking about making comics and being encouraging and encouraging others to make comics. So it's like a perfect thing, but I messed up and uh, I had to schedule something for the same time for work that evening, so I I'm a little bummed about that, but I already contacted the person and probably just have me go to a meeting later on, which I'm really happy about because I do really like doing that kind of stuff. But it's just an example of, uh, you know, I'm not perfect at scheduling myself yet. I am better. This kind of stuff does not happen as often as it once did. but. I was just a little bummed because I was really looking forward to doing that next week. It's okay. I'll get, I'll get a chance to do it eventually. So, all is well. So it's September. I need to set some goals for Volume 3 for myself. I have the two scripts for mini chapters that, uh, that I need to take care of. I think I'm just going to try and do art for both of them. I still haven't decided. I need to talk to Professor Trey and see if he would be interested in drawing one of them. I'm definitely going to do at least one of them, and so... I think I'm gonna, my goal, I'm setting it right now, my goal is I'm going to get one of those two scripts drawn this month. So I've still got like what, three, three weeks ish, give or take. I just need it drawn, I'm not gonna have to ink it or color it or anything like that. Uh, but getting it drawn, that's the part that I never really know how long it's gonna take. I was just talking to PK about this the other day. The drawing part of comics is always the unknown for me. Once I get a page drawn, I'm fine because inking is pretty easy for me. I've gotten very comfortable inking my own work and coloring, unless I have to develop a whole new color palette uh, for a new setting or new characters, really doesn't take much longer uh, from page to page. So it's really just drawing. If I have trouble making a scene uh, or I have trouble like drawing a character in a certain pose, that's what hangs me up. And so that's the part that's really set to take the most time. We'll see. I, I'm kind of uh, thinking about different ways that I could, uh, I could experiment with some different styles for these minis. And I'm really excited to actually work from someone else's script. I've done it a couple times before, but it's just not something that I do very often where I draw based on someone else's writing. So it, it will be a fun experience for me and it will be good for me to do that because, you know, I, it's fun to collaborate with people. Yeah. That's all I got for you guys this week. Thanks as always for watching and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll catch you later.